No. Oh, look what's inside my hands. The last guy. They're bullets. I want you to have them. And also, what's inside my heart? Love? Is my faith in you guys. Oh. <laughs> Avenge me. <laughs> he should be Avengers. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We're gonna be checking out the Audible and the Owl, the Mr. Beast $100,000 YouTuber Battle Royale today. So I've been seeing a lot of Mr. Beast. This dude has one of the best channels on YouTube in my opinion, because his channel is crazy. He does these crazy challenges. He gives out stupid amounts of money. It's just, how much is this Mr. Beast worth, bro, to be giving out $100,000 on a YouTube video, bro? <laughs> is this the type of stuff you need to give views? I mean, I'm not going to give out $100,000, but I can do a challenge. I can do a fun challenge amongst YouTubers, like last person to take their hand off of the car doesn't win. Uh, I don't know, five bucks, because that's all I have in my wallet right now. But we're going to be seeing all the one out's experience of it. I didn't even know he was doing it. It's kind of an animator, so you don't really see much of him, like, in terms of vlogs or, like, outside of the animation. So this is going to be dope. I, I, you know, I miss my boy James. He's cool. He's dope to me. He's funny. Everything about him I like. So, yeah, let's go ahead and watch this video. Don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and go ahead and comment, what was your favorite Mr. Beast challenge? Seeing how I haven't really watched much of Mr. Beast, but I still think he's one of the best YouTube channels around. I think the whole sub to PewDiePie thing was pretty insane because he actually bought, I think, was a Super Bowl commercial to advertise PewDiePie. He bought YouTube ads to uh, advertise PewDiePie. Like, this man really wanted PewDiePie to be number one. You know, it was for the sense of a YouTuber should be number one, and I do agree with that because T-Series is this whole different thing. But still, Mr. Beast, you're cool. You got my respect. But enough of me talking. Let's go and check out this odd one now. His $100,000 experience with the YouTuber Battle Royale hosted by Mr. Beast and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey, are you going to make a video about this? Is this Jaden mm, Animations? Probably think, not. Are you? I think it is. Mm, only if something interesting happens. Ooh, what that what went down? I'm going to tell you all the story about what happened at Mr. Beast's 100k YouTuber Ooh. Battle Royale. This is going to be quite a long I video, went. <laughs> so some of the drawings are going to be done by other people and I'm going to be recording this on different microphones, so sorry if I sound different. I'm not that sorry, I don't care. And I want to tell the story in its entirety. I don't want to cut anything out or split it into two videos because the story I'm talking about is already up on Mr. Beast's channel, so what's the point of making people wait for a conclusion when you can just go and see what happened? If you've already seen Mr. Beast's video, which a lot of you probably have, I haven't seen it yet. already been spoiled for you and you know how it's going to turn out, but you should still stick around because I'm going to go into detail about the events that led up to the big fight and sprinkle in just wait. a healthy amount of embellishment. There was a fight? Rock and don't know what I'm talking about. Hold on! Mr. Beast character is, then pull up a chair and let me explain studios. Because this is going to be quite the video. This is Mr. Beast, a 20 year old YouTuber that, after a couple of years of making cringy Minecraft intro compilations <laughs> and how much money does X YouTuber make, he started uploading some unique challenge videos. But they weren't your normal challenge videos you see on YouTube, like the Cinnamon Challenge or the Ugh. My Feelings Challenge. He challenged I hated his the Cinnamon Challenge. endurance by making videos like reading the dictionary in one sitting or counting to 200,000, road to a million. Did he really he do this? He started his challenges by making some big and questionable financial decisions like buying a hundred t-rex costumes or <sighs> really giving out tens of thousands of dollars to people so he has he money like this insanely popular oh my which goodness meant he earned more money which meant he could spend even bigger quantities of money on videos and in turn get more views because of how crazy they were exactly and then he got more money and it's just a vicious cycle the fastest growing channels on youtube in 2015 he celebrated his 7k subscriber milestone and in 2019 he's got over 16 million subscribers <laughs> the been blowing up and about a he year had to edit ago, that. I sent him a Twitter DM saying, where do you buy so many things in bulk? Like, uh, random example, sprinkles. Because I just, I needed to know, I just wanted to know who his supplier was. Because... <laughs> Oh, oh, you need to know his supplier. <laughs> we ended up chatting on mm -hmm. Discord for a you bit. Don't, and he you don't get the plug the number out. He makes videos is to entertain people. And with the amount of money he's giving away, and the fact that he's probably losing money on some of these videos, it's obvious that he's not making these videos for the money. Okay, that's a good point to point out. Like, $100,000 is probably what? $100,000 is like, okay, if a million views is $1,000, 10, 10 million views is like... Ten thousand dollars, then a hundred million views is around a hundred thousand dollars, which is not true. Like some people make two dollars per thousand views, some people make four, some people make five. But general estimate, it's around 
50 to 100 million views to make a hundred thousand dollars and certainly some of his videos did reach that but you have to realize he spends a lot of money a lot of time a lot of production doing these videos so he's probably not turning out that much of a profit on some of his videos clearly he's still a millionaire at the end of the day he still has plenty of money because i don't think he will be giving out his entire bank account just doing it like that like that would not make sense from a financial point of view because your youtube channel can die a lot of things can die you want a good savings account so i'm sure he has plenty of money but it's still dope of him to give out a lot of it a good bulk of it to random challenges to make the video more interesting and i respect that also in the call he told me he was playing fortnite and i said that my favorite video game was tetris and he said yeah you seem like the kind of person that would like tetris tetris <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, beast? Well, who's laughing now? Tetris is the best battle royale game out there. Tetris 99. Download it for free on the Switch today. They don't sponsor me. So that's who Mr. Beast really? is for okay. the six people watching who didn't know. I mean, download it. <laughs> in February 2019, I'm at VidCon London. Me and Dave from Boy in a Band were getting ready to perform Life is Fun in front of a bunch of UK blokes, and I was browsing Twitter and I saw this tweet from the Beast himself. Attention Epic Gamers. Attention Epic Gamers. Ooh. On March 6th, I'm hosting an in real life YouTuber battle royale with Airsoft Guns. Oh, this is so dope. Royal. That says Royal. I, I should have <laughs> went. Winner gets $100,000. It will be in LA and similar to Dude Perfects video, which BTWI really enjoyed. Reply if you're a Yautaber and want it. I should have replied! Sent 10 minutes ago. Ah. It was pretty fresh. And looking through my pocket calendar, I wasn't doing anything that day. I couldn't make it to the event. I asked Dave, do you think I should do it? I forgot what he said, but he probably said something like, Oh yeah, man, you'd be so great at it. <laughs> oh, you get so handsome. He's so Ooh, positive. You're the best. <laughs> oh. So I replied to the tweet, I can make it. Ooh. Chat with six other YouTubers, so I wrote, "Hello, competition." And the very next thing I saw was Mr. Beast added Logan Paul. Logan Paul? Went, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> YouTubers number one story time animator Logan Paul recently came out as a flat earther Logan Paul. That Logan Paul? <laughs> but then Logan Paul left because he's a coward. So in the group chat, Mr. Beast explained the rules. It would be an airsoft battle, and everyone would have three balloons attached to them. Okay. And once your three balloons got popped, you were out. That's this dope. This wasn't going to be a free-for-all uh, like the Hunger Games. Why did I come up with on this? Teams of three. So I was going to get paired up with two random people. I mean, I would have preferred if one of them had been a Paul boy, but uh, no big deal. Hopefully, whoever my teammates are would know what they're doing and carry the team, because I sure as heck wouldn't. Jaden Animations was also at VidCon, and I told her, guess what I'm doing? I saw your tweet. That's pretty epic, James. You're the best. She Aww, said. I said, so Jayden, sweet. the battle's gonna be in teams of three. I don't know anyone else that's going. Do you wanna go to war with me? Now this was a first for me. Never in my life have I ever had to ask someone, hey, do you wanna do fight you, in an airsoft battle? Do you wanna go to war with me? YouTubers <laughs> for the chance to win a hundred thousand dollars? And Jaden said, yeah, sure. I asked Mr. Beast, are you still looking for more people for the YouTube Royal? My friend Jaden is interested and I think it would be good if me and her were on a team because our channels are so similar. And he replied with, Yes, she got pewds and rewind. She got pewds. And I was like, oh, yeah, she did do that. I probably didn't have to send you her channel. So Jaden never publicly said she was going to be in the fight, but she was. Surprise! Mr. Beast sent us a list of people that still needed to be on a team. Since it was only me and Jaden, I gotta pick someone from the list to be the third member of our team. It you should have picked like Prince Charming! When they gotta pick teams for kickball. Pick Prince First Charming! Time I gotta feel that experience, actually. <laughs> I noticed one name on the list. Anthony Padilla. <gasps> the Smosh! See how young some of you are? So Anthony! I explain who Anthony is. Just bear with me, big kids. Smosh, guys. Before some of you were born, there was this big YouTube channel called Smosh. Okay, I have to pause it there because I have a huge, huge, like, you no know, nostalgic relationship with Smosh. I started watching them when I was in middle school, and they're honestly the reason why I wanted to become YouTubers because I saw their life. I thought it was so interesting. They're, like, the, the first YouTube channel to reach, like, a million subscribers, or, like, not the first, but, you know, like, they were one of the top ones back when YouTube was just starting, so they have been around for a very long time. I don't watch it anymore now just because I'm sure their target audience is, like, for people younger than me. That's why I enjoyed it when I was younger, but still, like, it's nostalgic. I watched Smosh games. I I watched a lot of Smosh. I'll have no idea. I used to wait for their videos. I used to watch their lunchtime with Smosh, meal time with Smosh, everything that you could have possibly been related to Smosh. I was watching it. So Anthony Padilla, like he's an OG to me, bro. I really do want to meet him in real life. You know, dab him up, play him in Mario Kart, Super Smash Bros. That'll be a fun day. 
And when I was 12, that was one of the YouTube channels that I watched. Mm -hmm. So imagine how gleeful I was when a big part of my childhood asked me to do a couple videos with him to go up on his channel. Since Anthony and I had already done two videos together, Annie's done one with Jaden, and he pet my dog. No. Close enough to have him on the team. Anthony also, Padilla. Also, three people on our team are vegan, so we decided to name ourselves 66% vegan. That's actually not true. I made that up. <laughs> the day was fast approaching, and I'm gonna level with you. We did not have high hopes for winning. Anthony tweeted out, "Tomorrow I'll be in Mr. Beast's 100K YouTube Battle Royale. This really teammates the odd ones out and Jade in animation. This is voice. Between us, we see a total of three hours of sunlight a week." Please, send us words of encouragement and support. Everyone in the group chat was hyping up how good they were at shooting guns and how seriously they were going to take this. Meanwhile, Leon Lush was in it? Us, really? We had played a total of two Fortnite games and a lot of Tetris. We showed up to the arena and I barely knew anyone. Keemstar was there for some reason. Keemstar? I don't know if Keemstar likes me though. <laughs> at first, I wasn't too worried about getting hurt because people were going to be aiming for our balloons, not our bodies. But when I saw the gear, the balloons were just about right over our heads. So everyone was going to have to William tell our balloons off. So you can get headshot in this. Really need our heads anyway. No, that no, would not be okay before with the me. Main fight, there were a couple of practice <laughs> rounds that were happening on a smaller field. And during the practice round, our team went into this little fort. Anthony's gun wasn't working. Jaden didn't know how to put the magazine in. And I didn't know how to aim. Y'all should have practiced. Fort, Come on. Got obliterated. Damn. Oh, baby. Just like that. Triple. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Like I said, we didn't have high hopes. Whenever I go to an event, a question I get asked a lot is, will you make a video about this? And every time my answer is always, I don't know. something interesting <laughs> happens. Look, I'm sorry, kid. I'm not just gonna make a video like, hey guys, so I went to this school and talked to these kids about being a YouTuber and everyone was well behaved and super nice. <laughs> Clickbait is your friend. That's... Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to check out the oh, video. Oh, is this really over? I mean, so I okay, Jayden, cool. You make a video about this? <laughs> she said, probably not. But if you want to, you can. And I said, yeah. Only if something interesting happens, though. And Jaden, I just want to say, thank you so much. For what is this interesting After the thing? Round, our team sat at a lunch table by ourselves because we didn't have any friends. Aww. And Jaden and Anthony talked to each other about being vegan, and I ate my chicken pesto sandwich as discreetly as possible. We also <laughs> talked about potential strategies. Like, if someone started shooting at you, then just shake your head as violently as possible so that way they can't hit your balloon. And give yourself brain yeah, damage. Works, we told ourselves. <laughs> But deep down, we knew it wouldn't work. Oh, gosh. I just hope we're not last, I said. I'd be happy if we made it in the top 10. There were a total of 13 teams. I would have been happy if we were in the top, top 10. 10? Oh, I that's... I didn't expect to pop anyone's balloons. That's aiming just low, as James. As we didn't lose horrifically, you can do better. I mean, I wasn't in this, but just hearing about it sounds like it was a blast. Like, man, I wish I was a bigger YouTuber. I wish I was cool and mainstream so I could have, you know, hit up Mr. Beast. I could have possibly won this $100,000. I think I would have been a foe to reckon with. I'm big. I'm quick. Um, I can aim. I've never really shot guns before, but I can aim. Like, if you need me to throw a baseball or a football or something like that, I can get pretty good aim. So, it's the same logic, right? Ooh. And I could have used $100,000. Oh, if I would have won, bro... If I would have won, I would have done 10 videos on it. 20 videos. <laughs> Bro, I would have milked it so badly. $100,000, Mr. Beast, you are a real one. Just giving out 100 bands like that. Rappers don't even give out money like that. That's insane. So, I know how these videos work. About 40 people showed up to the event. There's no way that everyone was going to have an equal amount of screen time. If you're not interesting, then you're not going to make the cut. So realizing this, our team also wanted some screen time. I drove an hour to get here. I didn't want it to go to waste. Exactly. Some people took 14 hour flights from Australia to get here. So I hope they had a fun time. <laughs> the match was about to start and our team got dark green balloons. And we saw another team that had lime green balloons. We talked to the other green team, which consisted of what's inside his son, Lincoln and Casper Lee. We joked with Casper Lee. Why don't you make this balloons. face like Since that? No one can tell us apart. Maybe we should team up. <laughs> okay, see you later. But the way the match played out was interesting. We didn't get to choose where we started. The map was split up into 13 different zones. This before is before the match started. Someone on your team would pick a number out of a hat, and whichever number you got would be the zone you started. This is so legit that way, when AF. The, match started, the teams would be equidistant from oh, each other. Oh wow! And to make it more interesting, you didn't begin the game with any weapons. Those were scattered around the field. So it's really the like Fortnite. To the center of the map, the better the weapons. Ah. <laughs> That's what they told us. <laughs> so we all put on our paintball masks and GoPros. One of the Hunger Games workers walked us to our zone. We looked around and saw one gun super close, 
One Grab gun it. at medium distance, and one gun pretty far away. I would've went for the far okay, one. Jaden and I will get the close gun. <laughs> I'm real. We'll get that medium gun and cover me while I get the far gun. <laughs> then an air horn blasted in the distance, and the game began. Ooh, this I looks so interesting. Medium distance gun, Grab it. it and ran back to where the group there was. you go. Jaden had her gun, but Anthony was empty-handed. Someone already grabbed the far gun, he said, and the team that grabbed it was the white team. And it didn't oh. take long for them to start sending BBs our way. Take out the, the white team. We could hide in. You know why? had no way of fighting back. <laughs> dude, dude, I don't have a gun, so I'm like sitting. The white team pushed us into a corner of the map, and a chain link fence stopped us from retreating any further. Looks like we're not going to make it in the top ten after all, vegans. But then we saw the team to our right, and it was none other than the lime green. The lime green came and to save them. We walked up to them with our hands in the air, like we just don't care, hoping that they remembered the very unofficial agreement that we had between us greenies. And fortunately, they took pity on us. They let us walk past them without shooting us, and they gave Anthony a crappy handgun. Oh, that's so nice. Let's not shoot each other. Okay, well, that's cool. Then, we later found a better gun for Anthony, and we also found a pretty good hiding spot that let us shoot at other teams while also keeping our precious balloons covered. Every seven minutes, the refs would close off part of the map, making it smaller, forcing the teams to get closer to each mm -hmm. other, just like the- Just like Fortnite. Games. But in the okay. meantime, we were perfectly <laughs> fine waiting in our hiding spot for the seven minutes to go by. Would you rather eat a whole pack of cigarettes- uh -huh. Smoke grenade over there. Or- Eat or smoke. Eat Ew. a whole pack of cigarettes. Oh, or, or what? Uh, <laughs> you didn't think of something? <laughs> no, it's full of garbage and poop. <laughs> oh no, I'd rather sit in the I'd rather sit in the dumpster. Gotta make some headway, or else we're just eating a pack of cigarettes. That's disgusting. True. And then after the seven minutes, the map shrunk, and we and the lime green team got a little closer together. And what's inside asked one of the refs. Hey, is it okay if we team up? And the ref said, Nope. I don't know, I just work here. Oh. So cool, we teamed up. It was funny because we still didn't completely trust each other. One time we moved locations and Casper told Lincoln, You go in front and I'll be in the back. So if they try to shoot you, I can get them. Well, there go my murder plans. We shot at other players and they shot back. Lime Green team lost some balloons, but I still had all three of mine. Oh, James! Smaller and smaller. MVP! And one of the told us that we had to be behind this line of caution tape. But when I bent down to go under the tape, my three balloons got caught and I was stuck. I think other people were shooting at me. Shoot! My balloons! Oh, no, no, no. Get out, get out, get out. decided to free me from his trap. And surprisingly, none of my balloons popped. They're in that way. They're in there. I think I got my, my balloon. No, you're good. What the frick? Are these things made out of metal? Casper and Lincoln unfortunately weren't as lucky. All their balloons bit the dust. Aww, poor a lime green team. Anthony had one balloon left, Jaden had two, and I still had all three of mine. I got hit in the head, back, had contusions, and fractured my neck, but that's not important. The only thing that's important is that Ooh. I still have all three of my balloons. <laughs> oh, phew, someone else. We found out what was inside what's inside's last balloon. It was helium and shame. He oh, was standing I in thought you were going to say Coke. <laughs> Any one of our balloons could have been popped. But death picked him. So the whole teaming up thing is perfect idea, especially from the start, because I'm sure other te uh, you know, players teamed up with other players, you know, to even the playing field. So you can always have that one team you can kind of trust. But when it comes down to it, bro, y'all are still enemies. So if y'all are the less surviving members, bro, you're gonna have to take each other out. So I'll say, you know, make a partnership, make a team, but like midway, y'all break apart. You don't wait till the end. You do midway. That way, like if they're like slowing you down or something like that, just get rid of them, bro. Just stab them in the bag. It's a game, bro. <laughs> there can only be one winner and it's gotta be me. <laughs> And plus, it's $100,000. You're not going to tell me that I'm not going to try to win. If this was a friendly, fair match, like you just play to play, then you know, it would be different. But 100 bands? It may not be much to these YouTubers, but to me, that is a lot of money. Our lime green brethren were out. Aww, Look what's inside my hands. The last guy. They're bullets. I want you to have them. And also, what's inside my heart? Love? Is my faith in you guys. Oh. <laughs> Avenge me. <laughs> he should be Avengers. <laughs> we had gotten shot at a bunch of times, yet somehow we were still in the game. The amount of teams that were left were getting small. Someone was shooting at us from our old hiding spot, and Anthony knew that there was an opening on the side he could use for a surprise attack. So are they, so are they gonna win this? Walked out of the bunker are they really gonna win the this? Team. And Ooh. at that moment, 
I thought of how cool it was that someone I had been watching for 10 years was one of my teammates. Anthony is so cool, bro. What food he was going to use back in food battle. To exactly. He's one of the pioneers of YouTube. He bro. inspired countless young creators like me to start making videos. Did you know in Jake Paul's book, You Gotta Want It, Jake actually credits Smosh for inspiring him and his brother to make videos as well. Smosh inspired a lot of people. Oh, Anthony. <laughs> no. I got him. Was... Was that the person who killed all of us in the training round? Yeah. But he got him, God, though. This isn't a video game, and when you shoot someone's last balloon, they can still shoot you before they realize they're out. Man, this whole balloon system seems kind of flawed. You have to keep asking people, do I still have balloons? Because you can't see how many balloons you have yourself. Yeah, you can't really see no it. No way of telling if you're in or out. <laughs> Anthony, take one of my balloons. Shut up. You have to win this for us. For Team 66%. Nah, you should have took the balloon. <laughs> Two people is stronger. Fifty percent <laughs> vegan. Fifty percent. Okay, because it's only Jaden two people. and I were left. The map was incredibly small at this point, and we were hiding behind this box and water cooler thing sticking up. Alex Ernst, who I'm a big fan of, by the way, turned the corner and I shot his last. There you go. Make it in the final video. There you go. Good job, James. But then Good job. I ran out of ammo. <gasps> I'm out. Now. Oh, no. Please tell me this man odd one out wins this whole duel, wins this whole competition because I need him to win. The underdog needs to win because it's odd one out. Jaden Animations and Anthony Padilla, like, they're still popular YouTubers without any doubt. Nobody's gonna take that away from them, but it's just you don't see their face as much, especially with like the Jake Pauls, the Morgs, the Rice Gums. Like, you don't see their face as much. So I need these underdogs to win it because I love all of them. I love all of their channels. Smosh was the pioneer for so many people even if they want to admit it even if they came 10 years later after smosh you got to realize they grew up watching smosh they grew up inspiring to be a youtuber so it really did change their life I didn't have any extra on her so i couldn't do anything we were getting shot at and i had nothing to fight back with i thought Jaden, i might have to i might have to find a go find a gun somewhere charge him there you go just try to charge me just charge him Okay, <gasps> they are poppable. I'm surprised they made it this far. But then something horrible. No, 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 no. Jaden said, I'm, I'm out. <gasps> no. It was over. They're out of bullets? Wait, what do we do? I don't know. How are we going to pop other people's balloons without BBs? Well, this looks like it's it, Jaden. A knife? <laughs> you didn't bring a knife to the gunfight? Why are we still here? <laughs> Just to suffer. Every night I can feel my leg. I want to use a, uh, and my arm. A stick or something from the Even ground. Finger. Stab. <laughs> body I've lost. The comrades I've lost. Won't stop hurting. You can still win this, bro. It's like they're all still there. You can still win you this. Feel it too, don't you? I'm gonna make them pay. Oh my God! Ooh! I got him! You got him? Oh. Did we? Is that it? That's it. They oh. won? <laughs> They actually won! Jaden wanted me to tell you that it sounds like she's crying here, but she wasn't crying because she doesn't cry. Oh, she was <laughs> crying. That happened, that, no one cares about that one. And that's how Team 66% Vegan won $100,000. $100,000! We each got $33,333.33. But then we had one penny left, so we decided to donate it to charity. Okay, oh, well, wow. <laughs> I do plan on doing something with the prize money, but that is another story for another time. Because this video is getting way too long, and I just want to be done with it. Actually, can you leave some suggestions about what I should do? Because I'm not entirely sure what I should do. So that was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, my boy Odd One Out actually came out with that dub, actually came out with that victory. That is what I'm talking about. I actually didn't go into this video thinking he was going to win. I thought when he said fight, there's going to be like a little fist fight, like somebody, you know, shot somebody in the neck or the face and they got mad and then they just started fighting. Like, I thought it was going to be some drama there. But to be fair, I sure, I'm sure I would have heard of it by like Keemstar if there was drama there. He would have made 10 videos on it. But yeah, I'm glad that, especially Anthony Odd One Out and animations i love these youtubers smosh has been something i watched when i was very young so like you know anthony's an og to me so knowing that they won really does make this mr beast challenge so much better but don't forget to hit me with a like subscribe and comment on this video if you want to reply from me it's truly prince charming my name is prince of Hawkins. stay charming my friends